everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before I start, I have a few things to note. One, I'm currently in New York, but I'll be back when you're watching this. Two, sorry that I look and sound very tired. It's very early in the morning. And three, apologies for the strange lighting and background. It's very hard to film in hotel rooms. I actually have an amazing view of New York right behind the camera, so I'll insert a little clip of that there, but because of the light, this was the only option. So obviously as I'm in New York, I've been doing a lot of shopping. I came with my friend Gemma, as you would have seen in the vlogs, and two girls together shopping in New York is very dangerous. I bought a lot of stuff. I'm literally surrounded by bags. I've also bought a lot of presents. I have Bailey's birthday coming up, my mum's birthday, Rich's birthday, so there's lots of presents. I feel like I've bought a lot of stuff, but I haven't actually bought anything that special for myself, like a pair of trainers or shoes or whatever. So I might still get something today as a little kind of pre-birthday gift to myself. But I'm gonna show you everything that I've got, including makeup, food, clothes, a handbag for my mum. So let's start the haul. My rule for this holiday is that I'd only buy things that I either can't get at home or are much cheaper here. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is from Bath and Body Works, and I always like to go in and take a look, but I'm not the biggest fan. I feel like the scents can be quite artificial, um, and a lot of the candles are very sweet smelling, which isn't really my thing but I did pick up two little candles. First one is an absolutely tiny, tiny, teeny weeny leaves, and I've had Fleur talk about this a lot. I don't know if I like it. Every time I smell it, it smells a little bit too kind of maybe cinnamony for me, but it's quite apple smelling as well, and I just didn't want to invest in a huge three-wick candle, and I saw this absolutely tiny one at the till, so I thought, well, that's kind of easy to pack. Definitely smells very warming and Christmassy, so looking forward to burning that. And then I also got one of the little kind of tin candles, and this one is Fresh Balsam. This smells like Christmas trees. Yeah, it really smells like pine, and I, oh, I really like this smell. It's very fresh, and I feel like it would really be a nice one for like a big room in your house. Very green smelling. Um, I think these ones are much easier to travel with than the huge three wick ones, so I wanted to get one of these. Yesterday when we were walking through Soho, we came across Brandy Melville, which we do actually have at home just off Carnaby Street, but I wanted to go in and see if it was any cheaper here, and it really is. I mean, the prices are amazing. Things are like $15, $20, and it's really nice, good quality clothes. So I picked up a couple of bits, but I do want to go back today. First thing is this grey top, and it's kind of long-sleeved. It's a jersey material, but it's cropped, and I thought this would look really nice with a high-waisted skirt. I haven't really got many high-waisted skirts, but that's the sort of style I like to wear in the autumn-winter with tights, a little high-waisted skirt, and I don't really have many cropped tops that aren't too short. I don't want to like, show my belly off, but it would just cover the top of the skirt, and this is such a nice, soft material. I also bought this, of course, it has stripes, I love stripes. It's a thin kind of t-shirt material, and it's stripy, but it's kind of extra long. It looks a bit like a dress, but it's kind of just like a long t-shirt that you can wear with black skinny jeans, and it looked really nice on it, just sat really nicely, and it's very comfortable. I always like to go into Urban Outfitters when I'm here, because I think they just get better stuff than the American ones, and it is a bit cheaper. I didn't actually find any clothes or shoes that I liked, but they have this huge beauty department. This was the one next to Macy's in New York. They have this huge beauty department with all these like new cool beauty brands. There was stuff like Anastasia or Anastasia, whatever it's called, but there was also loads of brands I'd never heard of. And I spotted these, and I think I've seen Ingrid talk about these before, so I really wanted to give them a try. They're from a brand called Dollface, and it's the Pretty Puff. So these are like, I think they're like sponges you put your cleanser on and you use it to cleanse your face. This one is the natural one, so it says it's exfoliating. And then I also bought this black one, which says it has bamboo charcoal in, which is good for purifying. So these look really cool. They look like they're kind of already wet and soaked in stuff, but you are meant to put your cleanser on it as well. So looking forward to trying those when I get home. Just something a bit different. I don't know if you can get these at home. And I think that's all I got from Urban Outfitters. So on to Sephora, the stuff I know you guys all want to see. Now I went into Sephora and I was thinking I'm going to get stuff that isn't out at home yet or we don't have at home. But I felt really overwhelmed by like the huge store and they're just, sometimes when I go shopping I buy stuff because I think this would make a really good blog post or I'd love to feature this in a video. But on this trip I just wanted to buy stuff for me that I knew that I'd really want or needed. And there just wasn't that much stuff that I needed, obviously I've got so much beauty products. So I was trying to be quite strict and I really wanted the Oscar Blandi texturizing spray because Anna uses it and it smells amazing. 
but apparently they've stopped selling Oscar Blondie in Sephora. They only have the travel sizes at the till, which is such a shame. So first, the first thing in here is this little free bag I got because I bought three of the little travel minis at the checkout. I really wanted to try the Kat Von D tattoo liner. This is a liquid eyeliner. I've heard so many people talk about this. Everyone says it's amazing and I love my Tom Ford liquid liner but it's really pricey so I'm definitely going to give this a go and see how it compares. I also bought a clear brow gel from Anastasia and I've actually used this one because I really needed one. I was using one from RMK and it was making my eyebrows far too crispy. They actually hurt towards the end of the day. This one doesn't make them crispy at all but it really sets them in place. Um, so definitely will repurchase that when I run out, I really like it. I also bought a rollable version of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana for her. So this is Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's perfume. And I tried both the black and the white one. The black one was a little bit too sweet for me. But the white one is kind of, I think it's rose scented. It really reminds me of the Stella perfume. Um, so I didn't want to buy a huge one, I don't need it, I've got so many perfumes. But I wanted a little rollable, because we don't really get rollable perfumes at home. Um, so yeah, this will be really good for my handbag. I picked up this from Living Proof. We probably do have this at home, but we don't tend to get that many travel sized things at home. This is called Straight and it says it's heat activated straightening, humidity blocking and weightless shine making. Um, heat protection up to 450 degrees. So obviously I straighten my hair a lot. So this sounds like it would be great for my hair. Another product I've heard a lot of people talk about is the Boskia Cleansing Gel. And I looked at the original one, but I spoke to the lady and she said that she preferred this one because it's kind of more gentle on your skin. It still takes up your, off your eye makeup really well. But instead of just being a, just a cleansing oil, this is a cleansing gel that turns into an oil. So it's called the Subaki Cleansing Oil Gel. So yeah, it starts as a gel and as you rub it in it turns into an oil so it takes your makeup off as well It's kind of cleansing the skin. And these come in really good packaging with a pump, so I think that would be really handy to use. I picked up another Sephora lip cream in 01 Always Red because I'm actually running low on mine. This is just the best red lip product I've ever used. I've spoken about it before. It's like a thick cream but it's so long lasting that I actually struggle to take it off in the evening. Um, it's really, really good though, and it's definitely like a wow red lip. I also picked up a travel size of the Ole Henriksen Whites wipes, and I, I really actually don't love these, but they do travel sizes here, and I like to take my makeup off on the flight home from New York because it's an overnight flight, so I thought these would be good for that. And because it's the travel size, I'm not like investing in a huge kind of box of them. And the final thing from Sephora is actually for my mum. She really wanted me to get her the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day because we don't sell this in the UK, we have Living Proof, but this product isn't available in the UK and it's a 5-in-1 styling treatment that her friend really recommended to her. It says it smooths, volumizes, conditions, straightens and polishes. So that's for my mum. Okay, moving on, here is my bag from Kate Spade and I'd say this is probably the most exciting stuff that I bought just because I absolutely love Kate Spade and we went to the flagship store and discovered that they have a whole floor for homeware and I don't think we get Kate Spade homeware at home, I've never seen it. I love homeware. Um, the first thing I got actually isn't from homeware though, it's a new phone case. I was on a hunt for a new phone case and most of the ones I saw were the same as that we had at home. But this one is new in and I really like it, I haven't put it on my phone yet. It's gold and like reflected so you can basically use it as a mirror and it says hello sunshine on it and I think that's really sweet. I love a good Kate Spade phone case. I know I kind of only just got my Mark by Mark Jacobs one but it's quite rubbery on the sides, I don't love how it feels where these ones just clip on and I feel like they feel smaller on the phone. I just love the packaging that Kate Spade stuff comes in. Look at this box. I bought myself a little necklace as well, just as a little treat. It wasn't too expensive. It comes in this little pouch, and it's basically a little necklace circle that has an L initial in it. And I think that would look really sweet. I tried it on, it comes to about there. And I think this was $58. Okay, so it wasn't too cheap, but it's not like crazy, crazy money for a really nice necklace. So yeah, I'm happy I got that. Now this one in the big box is probably the most ridiculous purchase. As you guys know, I don't have my own house yet, so I definitely don't need plates. But as I said, they don't do homeware at home and I like to collect things under my bed. But I could definitely use this in my bedroom. I'm gonna show you what it is. It's a little plate, it's all wrapped up. I'll do a little cutaway with gold detailing that says odds and ends and I just think that is so cute to put like your watch on or your jewellery or your keys or whatever you want, basically bits and bobs that you don't have home for on this cute little plate and I love it. I just literally fell in love with it. Gemma bought one as well. I don't know why, we definitely don't need plates, but it's so nice, I just fell in love with it. I've just turned the aircon off, I completely forgot it was on, so I really hope that wasn't annoying you guys. 
But the next stuff I'm going to show you is from Whole Foods. And you probably think it's strange that we went to Whole Foods because we do have loads at home. There's a lot of stuff you can't get at home that you can get here. There's just so much more in terms of like options. And Gemma's a complete like healthy food freak, so I was just following her around and copying what she was getting because Rich and Gemma have a lot in common. And I wanted to buy him some stuff to add to his birthday present. So the first thing I got is from a brand called Justin's, which I don't think we get at home. And this is the chocolate hazelnut butter. So this is kind of like a healthier, slightly version of Nutella. Um, I think he'll love this. I'm actually really excited to try this as well. I also bought him some toasted coconut chips with caramel sea salt from a brand called Dang. Again from Justin's, two dark chocolate peanut butter cups. He loves peanut butter flavoured stuff, so I got him a couple of those. And some almonds. Gemma is so obsessed with almonds and apparently you just can't get dry, roasted, unsalted almonds at home. It's like a real thing. I think a few places now might be starting to do it, but every time she comes to America she just stocks up. She seriously has like a case full of dry roasted unsalted almonds and I know Rich likes these so I got some for him. Okay next up is really exciting. If you've heard of Into the Glass you'll know it's a really great beauty website that I've read for years and they've recently started their own beauty brand called Glossier as you can see here and they had like a temporary pop-up store and I saw before I came that it was going to be open whilst I was here and I'm so excited so we trekked down to where it was kind of quite far from where we were staying and we finally found it. It was a really cute little pop-up store and I basically got one of the kits that has one of each product in because I just really wanted to try it. So it came in a little box like this that has a G on it and she colour matched me to the foundation. Oh god, it's like postcards and stickers flying everywhere. So it comes in two bags like this but it's only four products. In the first bag is the Glossier Priming Moisturiser. It says Buildable Hydrating Cream and the Balm.com. So that's like a skin balm, like all purpose balm. And then the other two products are a soothing face mist rose water spray and a tinted moisturiser and this is what she colour matched me to I think she matched me to medium and it says perfecting skin tint and I tried that on my hand in the store and it felt really nice so I'm really excited to try all these products because you can't get them at home they don't ship to the UK I was just very lucky that they had this pop up store whilst I was here and I'm really excited to try it CVS something us English people get very excited about I've been into Dwayne Reed and Walgreens and all of those but we, I did most of my shopping in CVS and again there just wasn't that much stuff that I thought I needed Revlon, Maybelline, they're all kind of the same with a few new things that I spotted and picked up I bought quite a lot of sweets though the first thing is something that all Americans keep taking the piss out of oh I can't say that first thing is something that all Americans keep making fun of me for getting because apparently they're revolting but I've never tried them um, candy corn! It's that time of year, all the like Halloween sweets are out and I always see these in like films and I really wanted to try these and I got them for Rich as well. More peanut stuff for Rich, Reese's Pieces peanut butter and peanut butter M&M's. I think we can get peanut M&M's at home but not peanut butter M&M's. For me I got some icebreaker sours because I really like these. And I think that's all the food. The first thing I got, literally the first thing I bought out of all of this was this shaver. I was so excited to buy it or razor, whatever you guys call it. I think I've seen Fleur talk about these and they're so handy, it's a travel size razor from Venus and we just don't get these at home and it's so cute and amazing for travelling. I feel like I need to get another one but I know I don't, it's just one of those like panicky things because I know I can't get it at home. It's so cute, I love this. I also bought some deodorant and this is actually a two pack because Gemma said she always buys these when she comes here because they don't do this scent at home and it's Dove deodorant in cucumber and green tea. Apparently we don't do these at home, so I thought that sounds really cool, I'm going to get some as well. They weren't expensive, so yeah, I've got a two pack of deodorant. On the Revlon stand I spotted these lipsticks, and I don't know if they're out at home, but I don't think I've seen them. They are called the Ultra HD Lipsticks, and I bought two, one in Petuna and one in Iris. So it's like a raspberry pink and like a deeper berry, like dark berry. So I'm really looking forward to trying these lipsticks. Um, they look good on the little stand, but who knows, they might be quite drying, they might be moisturising, I will let you guys know, I'm sure they'll pop up on the blog somewhere. The final thing from CVS is from Maybelline, and this is one of their colour tattoo 24 hour cream eyeshadows, but these ones are the leather ones, and I don't think I've seen these at home, um, they're obviously a different texture, I haven't opened it yet, but I got the shade Chocolate Suede, which just looks like a really easy brown, which is what I like to wear. So looking forward to trying those because I really like the 24 hour tattoo, like the original ones. Okay, I think I've just got one more thing to show you and this isn't even for me, this is for my mum. I went to Saks on Fifth Avenue to get her this because she, she had a long list of things she wanted me to get her but this was 
the important one. Um, it's from Rebecca Minkoff. I love Rebecca Minkoff. I have a bag myself that I ordered online. Oh, let me try and open this. And she wanted a mini Crosby. So this is one that has like a chain handle. I'll show you. She actually wanted it in charcoal, but they only had black, and I think it's really nice in black. So it looks like this. It's got a really nice zip on the front and a zip at the top. And there's quite a lot of space in there. It's got a really nice kind of colour lining as well. And the handle just looks like this. I think she'll really get good wear out of that. So that's everything for my New York haul. But as I said, I've got two days left. So who knows what can happen. I'll try and post the rest of my haul on Instagram if there's any more to come. It's maybe less intense than others. There's a lot of stuff, but there's nothing that exciting, I don't think. Just quite a lot of food. But I've had such a great trip. If you didn't see my vlogs, go and check them out. I've already put up part one and part two. And I just had the best time while well, I'm still here. I am having the best time. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one where hopefully I have better lighting and I don't look so pink. See you then. Bye.